so out of the whole thing, have I played as Peach more in the mini games, or have I played as Mario more? Because I feel like Mario. Oh, he, oh, oh, that's right. Um, Mario Party Seven doesn't have last five turns; it's the last four turns. Blah, yeah. You losers only have a couple turns left. Ah, tell me the current standings, Koopa Kid, and make it snappy. Yes, sir, Mr. Bowser, sir. Here are things stack up. Stack up. Poor Team Tuna, Toad and Toad is bringing up the rear. Team Seagull, Daisy and Luigi is in third. Second place belongs to Team Mollus, Bertle and Yoshi. And Team Dolphin, Peach and Mario is in first place, Mr. Bowser, sir. Oh, that's boring. I hate boring. It's no fun if everything ends like this. So let's shake things up. <laughs> There's Toad and Toad. Blah! Blah! Said Toad. Toadette! You're so lame, I'm gonna give you a second chance! <laughs> he called Toadette lame. Spin Bowser's Wheel of Fun! Spin it, I say! Oh, shoot! This is what you get! Bruh! I'm gonna add 10 more Koopa Kid spaces! Now anything can happen! Stay on your toes! Blah! 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 You know, I was pretty nice to you just then. So start playing better. You got that chump. <laughs> She's a bunch of lousy, no good, no fun, I tell ya. Dang. Ugh, more Koopa Kid spaces? And I thought the ones we had now were bad. Oh no, my star, they're gonna take it. She. She. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang, lucky little toads. Well, I guess they're bringing up the rear, so they needed their luck to change. Yeah, oh, I got it! Yeah, I got it! To Toad. We still need Peach, Daisy, Toadette, and 3D World-ish game. Whoa, the star's way over there. It's gonna take a while for us to get over there. I think Daisy and Luigi actually passed that spot too, so... Unless they use their magical mushroom to get way over there. Dang, 14 coins, that's pretty good. Alright, time to use this. This is really, really good item, I love it. Of course, if you roll something like that, it's not really cool. <laughs> I love how Mario's following Peach, too. That's a really cool detail. Whoa! Yeah, you can blast out to another island with the amazing Bowser Cannon 4000. Don't worry over much about it, just jump in and have a good flight. <laughs> they just throw Peach and Mario in there. You know what would have been cool if they shot us to the island where the star is? But no, they shot us to where the middle star is. And it's not even that far. Or close to the star, it's like even further almost. See, like I said, the computer players don't really have to work at it. They just get it automatically. But then like me, the human player, I have to travel and do all this legwork just to get over there. And now Koopa Kid is probably going to take my coins. Let's see, I can make your life miserable. I'll swap your coins with the Wheel of Woe. Definitely is a Wheel of Woe, alright. Uh, I guess um, Birdo and Yoshi are like, Alright, oh, your loan is up! No! I guess I should have saved, saved that flower orb. All the red spaces are turning into character spaces, and I land on those red spaces. <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah! Peach! Yeah! Uh, take me home! <sighs> that would have been... Bubble Brawl is okay, but it's, it depends on if the computer players target you or if they target another player. So, like I said, it depends on if the computer players fight you or fight someone else. If they fight someone else, you're okay, but if they fight you, you're a goner. Take that, Twitch. <laughs> Oh, did I win? And I'm kind of glad that this has like a water-ish. I think it'd be kind of cool to stand where um 
the mini game, the middle section of the mini game, because you only have like all these like water-ish falls around you, and you got this like bubble in the middle. That'd be kind of cool, but I don't know. Might be dangerous too. The bubble explodes, and you're like, ah, water burns. Is that even possible? Three, four, seven, eight, eleven. Cool. I love eleven. Probably the best number there is in the world. You know, ever since I laid that orb, nobody lands on it. Oh great, now the game's gonna help them get the next Star Watch. Oh wow, I guess Koopa doesn't want anyone getting that star, because it's probably reserved for Master Bowser. Hey, we rolled a 9, that's good. Good? Mario, you launched your lap. <laughs> Oh no! There's no items here that's gonna help me. Well, I guess this could. But we'll just do this. No, no, no! Yes. You know what? Let's just go for it. You know, Daisy and Luigi might land on it. Hey, we have many fine deals. Come back for it. Oh, great, Koopa Kid. Yeah, it's me, Koopa Kid. Are you happy to see me? I thought so. Let's see, how can I make your life miserable this time? Hmm. Oh, I know. I'm gonna swap the position of everyone this time. Fear the power of Koopa Kid. Wow! Ooh, Daisy and Luigi went back there. Bird on Yoshi went there. Toad and Toadette. Chew, I just helped them! And I went out of way back here. Wow! Another job well done. I bet Mr. Bowser will totally give me a raise after this. That's the bad thing about having all these Koopa Kid spaces in the area. It's like, really? All he does is make my life miserable by doing that. He still he like swaps coins and then Bowser revolutions us, switches our positions. I think he shuffles our orbs too. And then you're like, dang it, Koopa Kid! Why didn't you just stay a playable character? You are more fun that way, or more cool, I guess you could say. And then now Yoshi and Bird will have my um my coins. So they're obviously gonna buy all these stars. I've ruined my life. Maybe they'll put the star next to me. Maybe. Oh, yep. See, I only like it when that happens to me, not anybody else. Well, I think if even if I didn't trade coins with them, they would probably still have enough to do that. Okay, so now it looks like Yoshi and Birdle are gonna be a threat. They're the threaders of this game, <laughs> if that makes sense. Where's the next star? Um, okay, that one's actually closer to me. If I can get there, that is. Unless Koopa Kid switches everybody. Bowser Revolution will not be a problem because everyone has a lot more coins than me. Ding dong! Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome, losers! Said Koopa Kid. Dang, 20 coins. That's pretty good space to land on. Uh, I think we have played all the 8 mini game players that I want to play. Real smooth would probably be the next one. Babam Plague. Oh, that one's like the Babam. Babam Toss, but with 8 players instead. And it's kind of funny too because you can have the computer or the com, or the Mario characters like wave at you. I think that was a good idea. Of course, you want to try and rig this so the computers don't win. Go! Woo! See, there's Peach waving. There's Mario waving. Boom! Yeah, it worked. Boom! Boom! <laughs> okay, it's up to me and Birdle. No, I Birdle, I insist you take it. Birdle, to yeah, we. Oh my gosh, we did it. Peach did it actually. Good job, Peach. 
My plan almost worked, but Daisy had an extra second to give it to Toad and it blew him and Mari. Blew herself, Toad, and Mari with her. Yeah, so, and then if you play with humans, that's a lot harder too, because, you know, they probably have the same idea to torture you that way. Yeah, so this port's pretty fun too when you think about it. Um, like I said, it is the one that I had the most um, experience in my life when I came to GameCube games. Mario Party 7 I probably had the longest out of them all. Mario Party 5, I rented it, but you know, renting it only can get you so far, so... But it, Mario Party 5 was definitely the first game Mario Party GameCube I ever played. Okay, Mario, we need you to- I need you to pull out your cheating miracle to help us here. Okay, thank you, Peach. You picked up Mario's slack. Ah, congratulations, Peach. Oh, I see. That's simply superb. Will you bite the star? Yeah, right. I don't even know what I'm saying now. <laughs> I, got <it. laughs> I got it. Oh well, technically this is Peach's last turn to take the lead because now it's gonna be passed off to Mario to finish up. Oh, I just put the star in front of those two. But that's kind of good because then the other computer players won't get it. See. Well, I won't be able to use this on the next turn, unfortunately, so... Uh, let's go with Spear Guy. Oh, yeah! We have mini fine deals! Hey, Koopa Kid! Hi! He hates me, Koopa Kid! Happy to see me? I thought so. Let's see how I can make your life miserable this time. Hmm, I know! I'm gonna swap your coins with the team chosen by the Wheel of Woe. So I guess it'd be good to switch with Daisy and Luigi. Oh well, actually they're all pretty good, so... Thank you, Toad and Toadette. Oh yeah! Hey, another job well done. I bet Master Bowser will totally give me a raise after this. Ding dong! Oh, Mario's taunt. It's kind of hilarious in this game. Oh, Team Seagull. Oh, Spear Guy! Uh -huh. 20. Dang. Minus 10. Minus 10. Minus 10. <laughs> That's gotta hurt, actually. I like how Nintendo's just like, Oh, well, you know, we have to have indigenous creatures attacking our main heroes. So just stab him in the butt with the spear. Just a spear! Course, um, Spear Guy. He was a savage. He was taken from Yoshi's Island. Five. Hey, Stinky! Hey, stinky. hey blast off! There's Chili and Cr I mean, Crest and Silent. I think I keep calling Crests on um, Chili. <laughs> My favorite island, I'm probably thinking it's like the one right at the top. Mainly because you could fight Koopa Kid. I wish I had landed on it once, but we never I never did. Oh, we never got to play my favorite minigame. Well, we do have one more turn to try and play it. Um it's the what do you call it? I forgot, I forgot the minigame title. But it's the one with the music. It has like a music. It goes bam bam bam. The music noise. I forgot what it's called. But the music for it is pretty good too. I'm surprised we didn't play no Bowser minigame either. No one landed on a Bowser space, did they? I love Peach's snowboard. Reminds me of the, you know, Sochi 2014. Because, you know, if you're a first player, you use the blue snowboard, so. <laughs> Those guys. Oh my gosh, new record! Hey, I haven't heard a new record in this game in years! That's cool though. Gotta get in a new record. Okay, last turn. I can't remember the minigame title, or what was the name of it? Musical Mu- no, 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 that's Mario Party. What? They couldn't buy the star! Oh, that's right! I stole their coins! 
just ruins their life. I'm gonna swap your coins. <laughs> now they're gonna take it back, watch. Oh, I guess they didn't. Now they're just robbing Daisy and Luigi blind. Aw, poor Daisy and Luigi got ripped off. They had like a hundred plus coins in here, they just donated it to Toad and Toad. Let's put it here. That'd be cool if me and Mario rolled a 1, but I doubt it. 6. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna land on that Mike minigame, right? So I don't mind landing on it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the banners, Mike game. It's a choice a chance to boost your coin count in one shot. You can double your coins if you beat the minigame. How many coins will you wager? Sh should I do all of it? Let's go for all of it. You're betting 70 coins. You get 140 if you win, but losing the whole bet if you don't agree. Sound good? Let's go for it. Let's start the bonus game. Oh, I guess I have to play as Mario. I was hoping he would let me choose Peach. Okay, you must remember which piece of fruit is in the cards. Pay attention because the cards flash quickly. Hold the mic, please. When you're ready to go, say yes. Yeah. Yes. Watch the cards carefully as I turn them over. So you have B S A O G. Apple. 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 Banana. Great. Strawberry. Haha, <laughs> say. Orange. Smashing, that's correct. Strawberry. Great job, Obi. You answered them correctly. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> well, 140 coins, so I'm still the rich person. I think I beat Toad and Toadette now, right? Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Let's get back to the game! Well, I didn't land on the Koopa Kid space, but at least I got you all a Mike minigame to watch. So they'll probably buy another star, unfortunately. Yeah, see. Yeah, Yoshi, congratulations. But the good thing is they won't be able to buy another one, so... <laughs> Birdle just covers Yoshi. She's like, sorry Yoshi, this is my thunder. Where's the next star? Oh, next to Luigi and Daisy. And high chances they're gonna roll that number to get it. Koopa Kid? Unless Koopa Kid switches up everyone. Don't you dare do Bowser Revolution or I'll be pissed. No! Oh wait, they're switching the position. That's me. Poor Luigi. Oh, well, they didn't have enough coins anyways, so they couldn't afford it. There's me and Mario. <laughs> so Daisy and Luigi couldn't get us. Oh, no, the poor thing. They're fourth. So they have to get, like, two bonus stars in order to stay at, um, what do you call it? Two, third place. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I didn't think anyone was gonna land on that and have a star. <laughs> hey, I got another star! Woohoo! I stole a star for you! Yeah! The luck of Peach is on my side. <laughs> I'll take that! I'll get more stars later! Woo! Poor Luigi. Well, at least the good thing is that it wasn't Daisy that suffered. Or, well, she gets the after effects. Uh, fun run. No, 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 Take Me Home was the one I liked. That was the minigame I loved. Fun run. This one's pretty fun, but it kind of sucks. Uh, it's usually the fact that um, there's like this one part where it just brushes you off the screen, and I don't really care for that too much. I've never played these mini games as anyone. Well, I should be used to playing it as Mario, considering that. Or, well, then again, I'm usually Peach, and I play these mini games just as Peach. So 
so <laughs> there's no disadvantage for bit being Mario. Kind of like an optical course somewhat, but you're just going in a straight line in a circular-ish path. Yeah, that part's the one that I always mess up on. I go like a little too early, or I don't go far enough. Then it kind of takes my time off too, that's why there's no new record of it yet. There we go. Alright Mario, you made it! Good job! Bud. <laughs> Crescent Moon! Oh well, that's not... I forgot, there's like four types of moons. I always forget the one that was shown behind Mario. 150 coins and 7 stars. I think it's okay to say that I've got this. Birdo and Yoshi are second, Toadette and Toad third, and unfortunately Daisy got la is in last again. Poor dear, she's been working hard in here. She had a good lead and then it just went down from there. Poor dear. Again. Ooh, this was fun. I actually had a lot of fun playing Mario Party 7. <laughs> I don't know why Mario... Well, then again, Peach is higher than Mario, so that's good. I say, good show. Let's see how everyone fared. First, let's count everyone's stars. This is the number of stars each of you collected. I did pretty good. Next, we'll tally up everyone's coins. This is how many coins each of you ended up, ended up with. Such avarice. Whew! Now comes my favorite part. It's time to award the bonus stars. If you win one of my special bonus awards, you get a star. Let's see who wins, shall we? And here are the bonus stars. Action star, running star, and red star. <laughs> I think I've got, I've got the red star, there's no doubt about it. Toadette and Toad have the happening star. Running star? Um, I'm thinking maybe Toadette and Toad. First comes the action star. The action star is awarded to whoever landed on the most green spaces. The action star winner is... Toad and Toadette. Toad and Toadette of Team Tuna. Next is the running star. The running star is awarded to whoever mo moved the most. The running star is... Probably Toad and Toadette, I was thinking. Predicting. Oh, me and Mario got that. Mario and Peach of Team Dolphin. Finally, we have the red star. The red star is awarded to whoever landed on the most red spaces. The red star winner is... That's gotta be me and Mario. There's no way. Mario's red, so it's obviously his favorite space. Mario and Peach of Team Dolphin. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. The winner is... Who's the winner, everyone? Kinda Peach is castle. Peach is. So this, to my understanding, the war ceremony takes place on the yacht, right? Right? <laughs> I love when Peach says that. Yeah, we're the superstars! Sorry, my voice. Um, oh, in case you're wondering, Peach says, yeah, we're the superstars. And I love the little text that changes it. Actually, I didn't pay attention to what Mario says, so I apologize for that. Yeah, I won! With Mario! Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Who would've known, huh? But yeah, I think Peach and Mario are perfect for each other. Oh, look at that! They're cut looks like they're holding hands, almost! How sweet. Or how cute. <laughs> yeah, they really do! They look like they're holding each other's hands. That's probably the best victory. I wonder how Luigi and Daisy do theirs. Alright, so anyways, Team Dolphin, 9 stars, 150 coins. Team Mollus, Yoshi and Brittle, 5 stars and 15 coins. Toad and Toadette, 3 stars and 117 coins. And Luigi and Daisy, 0 stars and 12 coins. But they're the ones that donated their star to me, so... Cool! I had a lot of fun, I gotta say. I always- I thought I would, especially considering this was Deluxe, deluxe Edition. Minigame Star, I would have had that. <clears throat> the Shopping Star, I would have had that. The Orb Star, I would have had that. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I was running behind. Running Star, I had that. Red Star, I had that. And Happening Star, Toad and Toad, I had that. So, out of all the bonus stars, um, I had them all except for the Happening, so... Toad and Toadette were lucky or fortunate enough, but I don't think it helped them at all. Yeah, because they still stayed in third place. Yoshi and Birdo were starting to become a threat, but I think if they had a few more turns, they might. They weren't going to do any good. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Star count. 
Luigi and Daisy probably just like, oh, we're not gonna win. Just give the star to the winner so they can ascertain their victory. Then coins, you know, was always going up and down, up and down, and then it rolls right up, shot all the way up at the end. But okay, so all right, I, I don't know. I really love the way this um, whole Mario and Peach holding hands worked out. That shows you they got teamwork. We didn't have best chemistry, but you know, that shows that they like each other. And I love that pose. Okay, everyone, so that was Bowser's Enchanted Inferno with an exclamation point at the end. You earn 530 points. Dang, that's it? I would have thought it'd been more, but you know, that's how this game works. The games work, you don't, you think you earn a lot, but it's really not that much. Whew. So that was the last of the Bowser Party that's going to take place on the GameCube. Which means that the next Mario Party is going to be Mario Party 8 and that's on the Wii! Ooh, I'm kind of excited to play the, the Mario Party 8 for you because I think the only time I ever pulled that game out for you was actually for the Daisy special. Of course naturally since it was my first run at um, Mario Party 8 didn't come out as well as I had hoped it would, but now that everything's been updated and I know what I'm doing, I'm kind of excited to read to try and show you how much more, I guess, I don't even know how to finish that. We'll just say how more updated I've been with my channel. So yep, look forward to Mario Party 8 and it's going to be on the Wii. Oh, I'm so excited to play that one. But, and hope you've enjoyed and I shall catch you next time for more Bowser Party. Until next time, bye! One, two, three, four, five. Ding dong! I think it would be good to use the slow shroom. Let's go to good old Rosalina clapping first.